morning to everyone. It is Spandan Chakravarti from class 11 from St. Augustine's Day School, Barakpur. And today in this video, I am going to show you the project which I have designed for the Tinkerfest 2019. It is a concept of Mars mission. Now let's have a look into it. This entire project is divided into three parts. First of all, we have a non-working orbiter. Secondly, we have a working rover and also we have a concept for the soft landing on Mars. So first, let's have a look into the orbiter. So this is uh, the orbiter, it is a non-working one. So I have not included much features in it because uh, the features which will be included in this uh, orbiter will be the same as it was in the Mangalyan 1 mission which was conducted by ISRO. Other than that, you can see that there are two solar panels. Moving on, the next part of the project is the rover. It has many features in it including the solar panels which can follow the sun the automated light bulbs and also the two cameras which are fitted in it and also a temperature sensor. Now let's have a look into the working of the sun following solar panel. See the light source is here. As it deviates from the LDR, the automatically the motor turns and the solar panel keeps in position. Like this, the solar panel follows the path of the sun. To the next, we have the automated lights in the rover, which will switch on only during the night and during the daytime, it will be switched off. Now, as the light is falling on the surface, that's why the light is shining very dimly. As soon as I keep my hand over here, there is some darkness and that's why the light shines again brightly. Now, as we keep a source of light on the LDR, we'll see that the bulb will automatically switch off. See, as the light falls, the bulb is continuous, fully switched off, and as you remove the light and keep the Moving to the next feature of this rover is a soil tester which is fitted behind the rover. So it will come out and then send a stick like thing which will take some soil from the surface of Mars and it will be then tested inside this rover only and then. We saw that how the rover moves but along with it you can see that there are hydraulics fitted in the motor which will allow us for better transportation of the rover. Moving on to the next feature is the thermal sensor. We don't know what will be the temperature on Mars that's why to survive the extremes of temperature we have fitted a thermal sensor and also a Peltier chip which will allow us to heat and cold the rover during extremities. With that, we come to the end of other description of our rover. And uh, lastly, I will uh, tell that there are also two non-working cameras which are fitted over here, which may allow us to take the picture of Mars and its surface and everything present over there. The concept of landing will be such that the lander will be a pyramidal shaped object, which inside which the rover will be kept. 